Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I think I'm gonna make a dark UK drill beat from scratch in FL Studio. I've been listening to a lot of UK drill lately. I kind of like switch up my tutorials as I switch up the type of music that I listen to, which is why like one week you'll see me make like a dark trap beat for ESTG or Nardo Wick. Then next week it'll be like a Digga D or Central C or Unknown T tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm just making what I like to listen to. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorials. Let's get right into it. Start off by grabbing some strings. I know like the type of Unknown T type B that I want to make. And I want to have like, I want to be super simple, just like dark sounding strings. So let's go into like D sharp minor. All right, so what I did here is I just built like a D sharp minor triad and I pitched this F sharp down to F because this will have a lot more tension than it would up here, which will make it sound darker. So I pitched that up an octave. That, and just have this repeat maybe. Maybe not that, let's do like, Pitch it up actually. Okay, so I think this is cool for like the main chord progression melody. Now I just want to layer it a couple of times. So let's go into Analog Lab and try to find like a pad or maybe another set of strings and layer that. I really just, I want to be super simple, but have that dark vibe. So I'm not really going to add a bunch of counter melodies or anything like that. Let's maybe pull like a celli. Pull Shelly in for like I think that's good for the main melody. Um, so just to recap what I did, we have the same string chord progression, which is just a D minor triad with this pitch down one semitone, otherwise it would be there. Just added these notes to add a little bit extra filler and transition into this chord. This chord is the same as this one, except I pitched this E back up to F, and then I repeated the first chord. And then here, what I did is I pitched this mill note up one instead of this top one up one. And then I just copied that into a pad from Analog Lab. Didn't change anything at all. And then I pulled in this celli from BBC Symphony Orchestra and I just made this little melody to sort of complement the chord progression. I brought in a sub bass and just laid it down on my bass notes, which in this case is D. And then I went to FL keys and just laid down some more bass notes. So now that the melody is done, let's just sort of level it a bit so that we can get right into the drums. So I want the sub bass to be the quietest. I want that to be like that. That's cool. And last thing I want to do is just try pitching it up one more time. So let's go up four. All right, cool. So I want to use this broader counter snare. Um, let's go into this J Cactus kit. And which one is it? I like fried too. So let's do some like. <laughs> That's 
a cool bounce for a counter snares now let's pull an actual hi-hat in and make some like rolls and stuff so let's go into like one third step let's add in a roll at the end of the two bar pattern so <laughs> I think that's cool right there just to add an extra bit of bounce to the beat now i want to bring in like an actual snare so let's go back into the cactus care package let's go into snare rooms let's use this tight snare and let's go into our magnet go to one half beat so it's a little bit easier to select the notes and let's do so let's start laying down our 808 so i have a feeling that's gonna be in c well i'm hoping it's gonna be in c and let's actually put our soft clipper on the master and then i know these are gonna have to come down a bit because it's gonna be a lot louder all right so let's start building in some slides and glides and all that fun stuff so we're gonna do something like this and then we're gonna go up so what i'm gonna do to do this slide is i'm gonna just go up an octave on that note hit this button slide to f5 and let's shorten this a bit and hear what this sounds like around with the envelope so that only plays the notes as long as I hold them down. Okay guys, so my camera actually died and I didn't realize that until I'd already finished making the beat. So I'm gonna try and fill you guys in on where I left off. I think I left off with the 808s. So I was basically just messing around. I took out all these slides from the first four bars that I had originally and I just made the first four bars a lot more simpler so that like the energy would build up for the second four bars. So let's hear what the 808 pattern sounds like now that's done. So that's the 808s, and I'm pretty sure that I'd finished off the rest of the drums already uh, when the camera had died, and I just started arranging. So what I did for the arrangement 
So I just did all of the instruments for my melody for the first four bars and I brought in the counter snare and then I went into the first hook and then I came into the verse which I removed just that string and the bass notes from the piano and kept the 808 and the counter snare and the snare playing and then I added a little eight bar bridge and then I went back into the hook and then the second verse and then the hook and then the outro. Yeah, I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see me arrange the beat. I hope you guys still enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back next week with another tutorial for you guys. I'm gonna let the beat play out now. And yeah, I appreciate the support. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Woo-hoo! <laughs>